Hey everybody, I'm going to back with Liberty City Stories from the last episode. We did two, two of um, Salvatore's missions, and now he told us to go after a guy, go see a guy who will help him with the election, I guess. So let's go see what the hell's going on. The deal on the map. Oh, perfect. Perfect, alright, let's go. All right, so we got number two. I'm just waiting for the Super Bowl to start. My um, football, uh, my Super Bowl party also start. Oh shit! Oh goddamn! All right, let's just keep on heading down. What's with all the tractor trailers? Oh my god! There's like many blue ones or some other one. Holy crap! Head to the right. Up. Oh. Cop almost killed somebody. That's nice cars. And let's head up. Let's head up here. The morgue party candidate. Morgue party. This doesn't sound good. Meet Donald Love. In this game, you learn the very, very dangerous side. Really odd side of Donald Love. In GTA 3, he, he was a normal businessman. In this game, you learn that he is. Oh, shit. He, he has a fetish for dead people. So, yeah, that's how weird he is. He has a fetish for dead people. Yeah, you're, you may think Donald Love was great in the original game. You will probably not like him in this game because of how strange he really fucking is. Like, I'm, I'm being serious. I, mean, I like Donald Love in GTA 3, mainly because his first mission was a liberator and it had an amazing quote. Oh. How do you run, pal? You need here. Like a to lose your warrant. Wow. Oh, what a coincidence. I'm right over here. Awesome. Oh, the cops are on me. Damn. This is Nabucco. Our car. This music does not sound happy at all. Take us to Donald Love's garage because Donald Love has a weird fetish for freaking dead people. Uh, necrophilia, I believe it's called. If it's not necrophilia, then I'm not really sure what it is. Some tells me it's necrophilia. Yeah, after this mission we'll do some more sightseeing. So let's go. And the music music's not playing, what the hell? Oh well. There it is. Alright, um I believe we get to drive like a couple hearses in this game for Don Love because he's a freaky motherfucker. That's really fucked up. If you have a fetish for dead people, I wanna know what is wrong with you. What Ugh, what turns you on to be wanting dead people? Oh my god. If you've never played this game, if you've never played this game, if you played Vice City and never played this game, you're up, you're, you're waiting for a rude awakening. That's all I gotta say. Cause someone from Vice City is gonna fall victim to Donald Love. Clear warning right there. And drive the car into the garage. Get the car and get out. And now let's get the fuck out of here. I 
There's a phone. We'll see whatever, that, whatever that's about later in time. Because, um, we're gonna do some more sightseeing, yay! Um, I was using a little, a little bell thing there. Oh, we're gonna see what's with that later in time after we're done Donald Bluff's missions. Well, I've showed, I've showed you like uh, an interesting uh, thing that's still in this game. Um, I've showed you the cemetery. I've showed you some, some of this stuff. But there's some, there's something a lot. Shit, there's a, is there something that involves. Something a lot more odd. What is this? It's the, um, uh, that's the, uh, Damager. Wow, they still have this, um, the Hayoku, the Hayoku De, uh, I don't say Dejo. Dojo, whoa! Samurai sword! Awesome, we're samurais now, guys. I remember going down here, there was a hidden package in GTA 3 down here. But you know what? It's, we got something even better. We got a samurai sword! Um, hmm. oh yeah, I actually show you what, oh, as you can see, in GTA 3, there was something, he there was something here, well, there was, there was like a room, an empty room, but here we got Phil Cassidy's fully cocked gun shop, and all these weapons here you cannot get, there's a rocket launcher, a shotgun, M4, I, I know where M4s are so I can buy them, a uh, flamethrower, and a minigun, these are pretty, some pretty awesome weapons in one. Okay. Yeah, this isn't here in GTA 3. There's a hidden package up there. But I'm just gonna it. And in GTA 3, this would be like a little computer place right here. This. Uh, come and see the grand opening of Twat. Internet. Uh, Internet Cafe. Um, this, will op this will open in about like three years. In case anybody. Um, oh. Well, it won't be open in three years. You can see it in GTA 3, so there you go. Now, let's see if there's something in the bath. Let's see if you guys can get into the bathroom in this game, because I'm not really sure if you can. Because I know you can get in the bathroom in GTA uh, 3. Avenging Angel. Cool. Wolf off cocktails. More cocktails. And no, you cannot get into the bathroom. It sucks. It sucks. But, um, something that might actually be a lot more different in this game than in GTA 3. Not over here. Oh, uh, memory lane over here. Turn left. Right here would be the safe spot for GTA 3. Weapons would be right here. Garage right here. And bada bang. Right here. Anyway, probably the biggest thing. Oh, shit. As you can see over here, there, there's buildings over here. There's a building over here. But there is a whole area of buildings right over here in Fort Stalton. Right over here, from here. To, oh As you can see, there's like a really big area. In GTA 3, this would be like a. Um, this would be a whole entire construction site. Here's a little thing over here. A little cafe. There's a weapon up there. You can't get that yet. I, I see, like, there's like a whole full area over here. That was not in GTA 3. There's random doctors. And here at Fort Staunton. Yeah, there's a whole area, a whole area over here, which is really cool because um. Fucking Ferrellis, but okay. Um, if you want to go over here, I believe there's a brass knucks over here. Yep, there's brass knucks right here if you really want them. And uh, there's, there's Ferrellis and some doctors for you. Gang war right here. Um, and see, there's like a whole bunch of stuff over here. There's something over here. This, and still, Fort Salt is still a dangerous place. Yeah, the Stalton Cafe. Huh. I thought it was him packed up there. I will. But. 
now that I threatened them with tickets. But well, as you see, Fort Stalton is a whole area here and not a construction site because um we'll find we'll find this out later, guys. About what the hell happened? Beat people, kind of and Pete's place is still here. And yeah, there's a whole thing here on Fort Staunton that was not here in GTA 3, which, which is really cool and really interesting. It makes, me, it makes me wonder what the hell happened. Some things like my stuff. Dude, bitch, stop it. And, uh, there's... Is there a hidden package up here? Sometimes there's a hidden package around here. Oh, bitch killed herself. Bitch killed herself. Oh, shit. Fucking Ferrellis, goddammit. Um... I don't, I don't think there's anything else I can really show you. Oh, but I think over here is, like, the dock for them. Huh. Anyway, over here's the um place for the um ferry. What's over here? Oh. Oh hidden package, cool. There you go. Uh, maybe I'll show you how to get now. I was going to see if a guy committed suicide, but I guess he didn't. Uh, as you can see, this one's blocked off right here. You can't go here yet. And, yeah. I wonder, I wonder if inside still says, uh, Liberty Cox. Because that'd be really cool if it still says that. Uh, I think it just says Cox in there. Oh, right over, around over here is a hockey stick they can use for item. Uh, not item, I'm sorry. Weapon. I think it's like right next to the uh, stadium. And it is right here. Hockey stick. I don't believe it's like really as good as the samurai sword, because I'll show you how good the samurai sword is. As you can see, I got a M4, so I'll show you how good the samurai sword is. Oh, phone call. Hello. Oh, more do oh. What is this here? Huh. This seems interesting. Camping rumbo, huh. Okay, anyway, um... It appears the, the, the stadium is still being rebuilt. Huh. It's still being built. Is being built. Huh. Interesting. Fancy, fancy, interesting. Well, guys, um, this part was, I guess... Pretty interesting. Interesting, bitch, bitch, interesting. Yeah, the samurai sword is a lot better than the um, hockey stick. But if we get the hockey stick, go right ahead. I don't mind. So, um, yeah, this is a little sightseeing behind uh, Stalton Island. Stuff that are that is still in GTA 3 and some that is not. Over here, I believe there's nothing, but I'm just going to explore over here. Bam, 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 damp, 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 damp. Oh, there was actually a um, a uh, weapon place right by your house. But I might as well just show you it because I have, like, I think I have enough time to show you it. Oh shit! Right here is an ammunition. If you really, if you want to go to it, go right ahead. I, I believe there's some helpful weapons. Yeah. In the next part, we'll see. We'll do some more download missions. So, if you guys have the video, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. See you guys then.